Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to recreate my Snow AI generated profile photo. You may have seen these Korean AI profile photos all over social media. Basically, if you've ever wondered what the Korean version of you would look like, this is it. So I actually tried it out last night. So I went on the Snow app, which is like a photography app that's really popular in Korea. Pretty much like everyone uses that. I uploaded 20 photos of myself and then copped a $7 fee to get my profile photos generated. There was a little bit of a wait, to be exact, there were 807 people before me. So this is a very popular thing at the moment. About an hour later, I checked my phone and then I received my 30 AI photos. I'll flash them up for you guys to see. Now, does it look like me? I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Look, some of them are pretty close. Like if I was just heavily photoshopped and had flawless skin and perfect hair, yeah, that could be me. But then other ones, yeah, I didn't really see much resemblance there, but that's just my opinion. What do I know about me? Now I've narrowed it down to three of these photos to try to recreate today. The makeup isn't too hard. I'm gonna start off with like a natural one and then build it up to create the other styles. But let's just see if I can look like my Korean AI self. Before I get started with makeup, I want to give a big thanks to Isn't Tree for sponsoring this video. Isn't Tree is a cruelty-free, vegan, and eco-friendly Korean skincare brand. They're well known for their hyaluronic acid skincare range, and their sunscreens went viral all over social media. And now they've just launched three new sunscreens. The Onion New Pair Sunscreen with SPF 40, which was formulated with skincare expert Cassandra Bankson. I'm sure you guys all watch her videos. It contains 5% red onion extract from Moan, Korea, which helps to improve uneven skin caused by blemishes and also protects the skin from the sun. This has a really interesting purple hue that seamlessly blends into the skin tone. It blurs pores and neutralizes discoloration for a more even complexion. Next up, we have the Yam Root Milk Tone Up Sun Cream with SPF 50 plus. This is a tinted sun cream formulated with Andong Yam Root Extract and Panthenol that leaves the skin looking smooth while strengthening the skin's barrier. Lastly, there's the new addition to the Hyaluronic Acid Sun Care line, the Daily Sun Gel with SPF 30 plus. It boosts your skin's hydration levels and keeps it moisturized with 10 types of hyaluronic acid and Centella Asiatica. I love that Isn't Tree went above and beyond with their sunscreen products because one size is not fit all when it comes to skincare and sun protection. So at least now there's something for everyone. So do check them out. Use my discount code on screen to get 30% off. As always, I'll leave the link for you guys in my bio. Now let's get back to the makeup. The first photo I'm going to try to recreate is this one. It's a very natural look. She's got a little bit of like these wispy bangs, which I feel like my postpartum hair loss that's grown back. I can kind of like try to make that work. Makeup is very light, very natural. And she just looks very nice and innocent. And I'm referring it to she because I don't feel like it's me. It's just this AI version of me. I like how you look. Let's try to recreate you. Since Korean AI version of me has brighter skin, I'm going to opt for the Isn't Tree Yam Root Milk Tone Hub Sun Cream. So this is a tinted moisturizer. Going to brighten up my skin tone and give me light coverage. I feel like I need this all over my body too. The formula is very easy to blend. It doesn't feel thick or sticky or anything. And I definitely see that my face is a little bit lighter than my body. It is a tone up sun cream after all. So I think I'm going to apply it maybe like at least here. Much better. I'm a bit more uniform now. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I'm just doing a light layer because I want to keep it quite natural and just well blended. <gasps> oh no, I just realized I should have did my brows before because I need to change my brow shape. Gah! Did my base, which will be a little bit sticky. Okay, never mind. Let's do it. Now, referring back to the photo, you guys can see that we have very different brow shapes. My brows naturally are a bit more like arched, her brows are straight. So, we need to do something about that. I got my little razor here. I'm going to just flatten or straighten out the shape of my brows a little bit by carefully just shaving the top. Bring that arch back down to earth. I'm also gonna just trim the ends of my brow off. 
Oh my god, I think I shave up too much. <sighs> okay guys, my brows, they're not great. They're unfixable right now. Shaving is not going to help. I'm just going to have to use eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly finish off my base and just use concealer. I'm using the faux filter concealer from Huda Beauty. I'm just going to lightly powder with the Glow Wish Luminous Press Powder, just very lightly. So it's just gonna like lock everything in, but also give it a nice sheen still, so I'm not gonna look very flat and matte. Okay, let's fix these brows. For brows, I'm using the Cleo Kill Brow Auto Hard Brow Pencil in Natural Brown. We're going for a straight brow, so let's just make this one a little bit thicker and more like her sister. I'm just adding a little bit of brow powder on top to soften it a little. I'm going in with the Hourglass Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. So it's just gonna add a little bit of color. Okay, now moving on to eyes. Her eyes look very, very natural. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick that I always do when my eye is uneven like this. I don't know if you can tell, like the, I'm talking about the lid. This lid is kind of like collapsing, you know, age. So I'm gonna try to even them out and I'm gonna use double eyelid stickers. I use the ones that come like this and it's got like a little bit of like a mesh pattern on it, but it's a sticker. But what I do is I cut them up into like four pieces. So I don't use the whole strip. So I literally just peel like a little section of it off. Then I'll just place it to where I want my new crease to be, slightly open. And then when I open, you can see it's lifted my lid and it's evened it out a lot more. It also looks less detectable than when you use the whole strip. So now I can just apply makeup on top. I'm gonna use the Clear Pro Eye Palette in Autumn Breeze. Going in with the two lighter shade first. I'm just mixing it together to get an in-between. And then I'll just dust it on my lid. Just to create like a natural sort of like shadow. If you saw my K-Beauty haul video, you would have seen this little guy, a heated eyelash curler. I'm gonna use that to just perk up my lashes. This gives my lashes an IC curl, but it doesn't really get close enough to the root of my lashes. So I'm gonna go in with my metal lash curler and then just do an extra curl. Can you guys see the difference? I'm also gonna curl my little lashes. Now I'm going in with a waterproof pencil liner from Clio. I'm gonna do a very natural sort of liner. I'm doing the end flick first, and then I'll just use my finger to kind of like taper it off and smudge the end out. Then I'm going to line underneath where my water line is. So I just press on my lid and then I can see underneath. I'm going to add a little bit of like a dark brown liquid liner very close to my lash line, just for more definition. I'm gonna add a little bit more eyeshadow, just this like first pinky shade to the outer corner and add it to my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna go in with shimmer shade next and then pop that in the center, just underneath my pupil on my lower lash line. Give it a little bit of like a highlight. Next, I'm using a little bit of my contour powder and like a angled brush. I'm going to highlight my eye bag a little bit so I kind of like squint a little bit to see the shadow and then just place it under here. For mascara, I'm using this little one from Clio. I know, I love Clio, don't I? Pop a little bit on my lower lashes. Give it a little bit of a boost. But we want to keep it natural, so just a little bit. I'm looking at the photo and I'm like, does she even contour? Maybe a little bit on the nose. Now to add in some blush. The blush looks a little bit lower and more like in the center on me, on her. Her lips don't look chapped, that's for sure. If AIs ever actually became like in human bodies, you could tell that it's an AI if it doesn't have chapped lips. If it has juicy lips, that's AI Tina, that's not. Real Tina. If it has chap lips, yeah, your queen of chap is here. I feel like she has a little bit of gloss on, so I'm gonna use this one. This is a glowy tint bar from AOU. All right, my makeup is done. Now let's just get the hair in order. Bring out my bangs. Oh my God, I feel like hers are a little bit short. 
Should I cut mine? <laughs> I was like, no, no. Okay, okay. No cutting. No more cutting or shaving today. Here are the shots I've narrowed down so you guys can compare. What do you guys think? I actually really like how my photo turned out. It may not look like the AI to the T, but hey, I'm pretty happy with it. Next, I'm going to try to recreate this look. The makeup, I feel like it's similar to this makeup, just a little bit more amped up and man, her hair. I love the hair. She should be in a Pantene ad. It's so perfect. So let me just add a little bit more eyeshadow Amp up my blush a little bit, maybe maybe add a little bit of contour too. I'm just deepening up my eye makeup a little bit more. The brows are slightly angled and a little bit more extended. I'm going to add a little bit more contour, just like to the perimeters of my face, since this is kind of like a side shot. And also add a little bit of highlight using the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Highlighter. Add some to my body. For lip, I'm keeping it the same color, but I'm just overlining a little bit with soft pink from Peripera. And then amp it up with a very pinky blush. Just adding a little bit more mascara. Now I'm gonna attempt to make my hair as perfect as hers. That AI has perfect hair and I cannot get close to that. Bang, the bangs just like set us free. I don't want to hairspray it because I need to restyle it again for the next one. So we're just going to hope it doesn't pop out. I need like a wind machine. <laughs> That's too much. Here's a side by side comparison so you guys can see. I definitely didn't nail the shot. My hair just lacked. I needed more volume. I needed like someone on hair duty to just like blow it in my face. But unfortunately, I just have Alfred with the Dyson who's trying to take the photo and blow it and it's just like a mess, so. Okay, the last AI photo that I'm going to try to recreate is this one. She has a lot more makeup on. It's got more of like a warmer tone to it. Lips a little bit different. So once again, I'm just going to quickly tweak my eye makeup, change my lip and then Try to do an updo like that. There's definitely a lot more eyeshadow in this look. It's not your typical Korean makeup. So I'm just going to add more eyeshadow. A little bit more liner. And also I'm going to just line my lower lash line just ever so slightly. I'm going to apply a lot more mascara on my lower lashes as well. It's gonna open my eyes even more. Then I'm just gonna quickly change my lip color. I'm just gonna to tone down the blush a little bit. Now for hair, I'm just spraying a little bit of water so I can change my part. I don't have the same orange top. I've got a black version and we're working with this background. So let's snap up some shots, okay? The pose is like, mm. Here's the AI photo versus my photo. What are your thoughts? I think it's a little bit closer though. I'm telling you the ears, the ears, not quite my ears. Hair was a little bit easier since, the, you know, it was just kind of tied back up. Her body type is just a lot thinner. So, you know, her neck, her shoulders. It's easy to spot the difference. Out of the three looks, I feel like the first one was my favorite. And in my opinion, the closer one to the AI generated photos. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know which one did you like the best? It's definitely a fun thing to try just to see what the Korean version of you would look like. However, would I be brave enough to use it as a profile photo and catfish the internet? No, because you guys all know what I look like. But if I just needed a shot and I just started a business, I think instead of paying like a couple hundred dollars to get proper headshots done, I might just go with the AI photo. 
$7, a lot cheaper when you've got options. Don't even have to put makeup on. Anyways, that is it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Big thanks to Isn't True for sponsoring this video. As always, I'll leave the links for you guys below if you wanna shop their sunscreens. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Tina versus AI. AI won.